हर तरह फिक्र को दौड़ा के थकाया हमने कोई दी दी And welcome to Balance. As Ahmadi Muslim mothers, we have noble standards to uphold in order to prepare our children to become the true servants of Islam. We have the responsibility of training them in the best possible way. One aspect of this training is to teach our daughters how to navigate the domestic sphere successfully meaning learning those essential skills that will enable them to create a healthy and harmonious atmosphere at home. In this day and age, we seldom think about the role of a woman in the domestic sphere. The reality is that she has an incredibly tough but critical job, and that is to keep the household unit running smoothly and efficiently. This episode will identify and explore those essential skills for homemakers of today to be successful. Before we begin today, let's go to the word on the street and hear what people had to say when we asked them the question, what does the word homemaker mean to you? So obviously, uh, when you talk homemaker, uh, there's that connotation about women being, like saying a, home, a housewife, that's like the, the term. But to me, a homemaker could be anybody who builds a home from, takes care of their family, whatever it is, whether it's kids, pets, a fish, uh, just takes, takes care and makes a house, make it a home. That's, that, that's the best way I can put it. Probably someone that cares a lot for the family and puts all their priorities before, like, before all of other people's priorities before theirs. Gender roles. Meaning it's all about a woman is expected to do this, a man is expected to do this. Generally speaking, men are associated with masculinity. They are also associated with hard labor, technical jobs, something technical. While women are, were associated with nurturing, were also associated with cleaning, hygiene, and making sure that the house is... We are multitaskers. So to me, it's all about gender roles. Certainly, there's a lot of interesting thoughts about this topic. So let's start our discussion today without further ado. Joining me today are my guests, Amata Rafiq Tahira Saiba. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Wa alaikum as salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. And Nida Nasser Sahiba. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Wa alaikum as salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. So let me start the discussion today by asking the question, is there truly a stigma attached to the word, the role, the title of a homemaker in today's day and age, especially even in our Islamic culture? Let me begin with you, Amit Rafiq We place a lot of emphasis on train, moral training and spiritual training of our children, especially for our girls, to prepare them for the married life. But sometimes we overlook a very important aspect of the life, which can arm them to be ready and to, to lead a very successful life after marriage. And uh, there is also a stigma attached to a girl. If she is looking after her house, taking care of her children, that she is not modern enough or she is not uh, intelligent enough. Mm -hmm. We need to change our thinking and we have to give honor and celebrate this, these responsibilities because these are very necessary and they can change the house environment. Absolutely, indeed. What do you think, Nida Saiba? Well, I think these days um, when girls are getting married, the first question they are asked is, what are you going to do alongside being married? As um, either they have, like, are you going to pursue hi higher education or you're going to pursue um, your career? 
Uh, but I think at this time, they need to realize the importance of a wife, the role that we're playing of a role of a wife and a mother. And they need to be proud of it, that this is my new responsibility. And also, I think nowadays there's this um, stigma, you could say, or this misconception that's out there that if you are staying at home, and it's to both boys and girls, that if you are staying at home, you aren't doing anything. Mm -hmm. I think it could be because um, they don't see a home-cooked meal or they don't see that their house is um, cleaned or organized. So uh, either they're busy with um, social media, entertainment, fashion, etc. So we need to change this misconception and make them realize and be proud of it that as a homemaker, it is a big responsibility that's upon our shoulder. Mm -hmm. You're absolutely right in that there is this misconception out yeah. there. Homemaking um, is not a, an exclusive role. Exactly. We can do many things with all these responsibilities. Exactly, exactly. And um, and certainly we do need to change that narrative. We need to change that way of thinking that women who are staying at home and not formally pursuing a career or studies, that they are really not doing anything. Yes. You know, they're just staying at home because indeed the person who does stay at home and is running the household unit has uh, a lot on their plate and is 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 undertaking a lot of responsibility yes. in order to make that run successfully. Yes. So let's talk about some examples. Let's uh, let's talk about what those essential skills are that are going to be a source of comfort and peace for ourselves and our families. Uh, let me begin with you, Nida Saiba. Um, I think the most important or essential skill to run a home is cooking. And a lot of times, uh, mothers sometimes ignore this, that she, he or she, they're studying and they shouldn't be disturbed. Uh, and the reality is that a girl has never cooked a single meal in her home, uh, in her family kitchen for her uh, whole family. Uh, but I think we need to realize it, that this skill is very important and we need to teach it to our kids. And once they get married, well, in the beginning of their marriage, it is okay to eat out and enjoy their time. But once the family grows, how will you ensure that you can provide a healthy meal for your family or you can cook for your family? Mm -hmm. And I think as uh, cooking is just not um, a skill that you can just learn. It's actually a talent. And the term you can say you're not monitoring enough, I think it fits. Uh, with education, you can learn this skill. It's part of uh, your essential skills. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's a life skill. Exactly. Yeah, absolutely. If I recall my memories, these essential skills were taught to us uh, as a compulsory subject in school. And rest of us, the uh, rest of that was taught to us by our mothers, aunts, grandmothers who were living in a joint family or nearby. So as the girl is prepared to enter in a special phase of her life, she is fully equipped and she has knowledge how to manage her home successfully. So it was not uh, difficult at that time. Mm -hmm. Girl was already had the knowledge and tools how she will be a host and how she has to present all these things before the guests and how she has to manage her home. Mm -hmm, absolutely. And how fortunate were those women who had those resources growing up and had those examples of, uh, uh, of amazing women around them who could teach them with yes. care yes. and with love. Love and know, affection. What, yes. What, what she, what these tasks were. Yes. Um, so certainly that would help them. So let's turn now to another essential skill, which is of a home organization and cleaning, uh, which is of course central as well uh, to a household unit running smoothly. What is your advice with regards to this? Actually, cleaning is a very uh, important skill and you improve with time and you learn this as you uh, organize yourself and you do it every day in your practical life. And you can teach these skills to both your boys and girls from a very young age. You can start doing that with asking them to make their beds when they get up in the morning or ask them to clean their rooms, um, organize their closets and ask them to do little tasks at home. For example, vacuuming, dusting, 
uh, gathering laundry for laundry day. So by doing this, you're making this habit, embedding this habit into them, that cleaning is very important. And this becomes um, sort of their lifestyle. And then from a very young age, they learn this skill. And as they get older, it's a part of them. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. What do you think of Yeah, Lida has mentioned a very good point that uh, the skills we are talking about, cleaning, cooking, these are not uh, only for the girls. Men and boys should also be given some exposure to all these skin skills. Absolutely. And there is no harm or shame if a man is helping out uh, in the household chores mm -hmm. with his wife. Uh, because this is the sunnah of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that he used to help in the household works with his families. A person asked a question to Hazrat Aisha Anha, what does the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam do at, when he is at home? She answered, she does, he always help us with the household works as a normal person. Mm -hmm. And also I remember uh, an address of Hazrat Khalifatul Masih Rabi Rahimahullah in which he addressed the ladies, especially the mothers, that they should train their, their sons in, in the best possible way. So they could be, become good husbands and then become good uh, fathers. In that case, their daughters-in-law will offer prayers for their mothers-in-law. <laughs> so this will be a good a change, change like that. Yes, yeah. absolutely. If I may add here, uh, there is a tradition of the Holy Prophet وسلم, that cleanliness is half a Muslim's faith. So you see here, there's so much emphasis that's placed on cleanliness. And so cleanliness and cleaning ourselves and keeping ourselves clean, mm -hmm. that this skill can just be put into our use, cleaning our house, mm -hmm. keeping our house clean all the time. And this way, teaching our kids the same responsibility. Mm -hmm. And uh, we can do that. And this can on, not only be done with, by just one person. It's sort of like a team effort. So everybody um, has different tasks to do. There's personal space that they have to take care of. And if everybody works as a team, you can have a clean and a harmonious home at the same time and continuously improving your household um, and cleaning your house. Mm -hmm. And I think yeah. that a lot of people don't realize this, but to have a clean home actually forms a, a big part of your faith, like you said, mm -hmm. and it goes a long way in terms of your relationship with uh, Allah Almighty. You know, you offer prayers in that same home we do our wuzu in that in that same home. So to keep that space clean is a big part of our faith, as, as you've mentioned. Yeah. If we think about the habit of cleaning, we teach this habit of our preschoolers. And you know, Allah likes cleanliness. Mm -hmm. So when the children are grown up, we should just remind them that this habit sh should stay with them in their adulthood. Mm -hmm. And also we can make this uh, as a part of fun activity on the weekends when all the family members are at home. So one can do the cooking, the other can do the cleaning, and the third one can do the laundry. Mm -hmm. And the next week we can exchange these okay. responsibilities. In that way, everyone will be doing the household works and will be enjoying it. Mm -hmm. uh, not only the mother will be running from one task to the other task, and she sometimes uh, this is the responsibility on the mothers, I believe, that they should also encourage their children to volunteer some of their work for the Jamaat work. Mm -hmm. Because the Jamaat work always bring bl blessings, not only for that person, but for the whole family. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Do you have anything to add? So um, also there is um, university students who are going to universities. Uh, their education is very intense these days. Uh, and sort of it's giving them this excuse that uh, I can't do house chores or I can't participate in any of the activities that are being done at home. And But they need to realize the importance of working. Two things, balancing two things, multitasking. So doing um, many tasks at once. Mm -hmm. So um, this is a very essential skill. And if they learn it from a very young age, it's very important and it's important in their practical life. Mm -hmm. And when they get married, 
and she has a girl has who has many responsibilities she's able to prioritize her responsibilities mm -hmm. and manage her time effectively mm -hmm. and do them effectively as well absolutely yeah. no i think you're absolutely right you know sometimes when we're in the middle of exams or we have huge projects and assignments as students uh, we all know that we tend to get a little tunnel minded and we get very anxious and worried about those things uh, but the reality is that your education your other pursuits your other activities will be on an ongoing basis exactly. but at the same time in parallel it's important to be exposed to and to yeah. learn these essential tasks because these are life skills so basically yeah. making them realize that these both things go in hand in hand, hand, in hand. you can't just say okay, so this is only um, education is important you have to realize that cooking cleaning and doing all these chores they both go together yeah and we have to work them together multitask at a time and if you are able to do that i think you sort of have a successful uh, future ahead of you absolutely yeah. because sometimes mothers say that girl will learn all these skills later on and baad mein seekh legi definitely our children are very smart and they learn all these skills very quickly mm -hmm. But if they are equipped with all these skills beforehand, mm -hmm. it will give them confidence mm -hmm. and success in their future mm -hmm. life. Mm -hmm. When you, we were talking about all these uh, priorities and busy schedule, I was thinking about a hadith of the Holy Prophet sallallahu mm -hmm. alaihi wasallam, mm -hmm. in which he said, "Akrimu auladakum wa senu adamahum." That respects your children and give them the best education. So this is the responsibility of mothers. to prioritize all these responsibilities so the children are used to all the to manage all these skills uh, whether they are busy or not busy and they are giving time and they are very they can be very successful with, with doing all along all these things along at the same time mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it is not difficult so it is it can be managed Absolutely. and it should be taught to our girls and especially are the boys and girls equal alike yeah. and i think it's also important to note that the time that you have with your mother um and with the uh, other women in your household before marriage is a very unique time yes so if you utilize it effectively and you use that time to learn from yes. uh, your elders yes. especially the the women in your life who are older than you they have a lot of wisdom they yes. have a lot of experience that they can transfer to you yeah. first hand mm -hmm. and you have that unique opportunity at that time yeah. so yes after you get married after you enter the practical aspect of your life you You will have the resources, perhaps, to learn how to cook, and you can, yeah. uh, you know, you have your um, internet, you have access to a lot of app, apps and resources, yes. etc., <laughs> that you can exactly. utilize to learn how to cook, how to clean, etc. But you will be missing that unique component, yes. which is the love and the transfer of wisdom yeah. that you could have acquired from your elders and yeah. from your mother, especially. Yeah, these are the sweet memories of yeah. your mothers. Absolutely, and I think yeah. a lot of times, sometimes you don't. realize it when you're young but when you uh, come to that stage you slowly realize that they were right the things they were telling us and it comes are, with maturity exactly and so it does well. come with maturity yeah. so one important note that i want to make here is that when we're talking about um women and their roles in the house we're talking about women from all walks of life so we're talking about students and professionals and wives and mothers and all of these women have a very common concern where they want to keep their household unit running smoothly and efficiently and of course they want to make their homes harmonious and there is a misconception out there where they where people may think that women who are pursuing formal education or formal um careers or jobs have less time to devote to these essential tasks at home and therefore their homes cannot be uh kept at the standard and the level of others who may be uh staying at home all of the time but this is of course not true because as we've talked about the skills of time management multitasking prioritizing organization these are the skills that are uh very important to have and once you have them no matter how many things you have going on at one time you'll still be able to manage uh, the household tasks effectively so if they are taught from the very beginning of their life and they're given task at home and they're studying this will enable them to 
feel very comfortable in their practical life mm -hmm. once they're married or even if they're married and they have a house and kids and they're also pursuing their career there's no trouble to them absolutely they're able to do it in a very well-mannered and mm -hmm. way absolutely yeah. Now, just a related uh, question to that, or a related, to a related topic. Um, when we do get busier in our lives, and we have a lot of different things on the go, and we have a lot of competing priorities, a lot of activities, sometimes it's almost easier to run out and get that takeout meal and, and to eat outside, um, or to buy prepared meals. Sometimes it's easier to hire somebody to help you with your cleaning. Yeah. But I think the important thing to realize is that these are not permanent solutions. These are temporary. And they also have a big impact on our budget. So how is budgeting an essential skill for homemakers of today? We should keep in mind that budgeting and to keep a budget uh, in a normal uh, standard is a very uh, essential domestic skill. And it should be kept in every home. Because in this age and time, penny pinching and crunching budgets are become the part of our life. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, I think women should think for their future also, and they should save money for their future expectations. Absolutely, you're right in that um, it's almost a critical skill yes. in these economic times to, to keep budgets and to stay on, on stay track on. with those budgets as well. Now, I was just thinking about an earlier comment that you made about how women in, in the past, in past generations were, uh, taught these skills, these essential life skills as part of their school curriculum and then also received that training at home. And I'm thinking about the skill of sewing, for example. You know, women used to be taught how to mend, how to sew, how to repair clothes at home. And that went a long way in terms of um, keeping on track with budgets. But these days, it's almost easier. You know, you lose a button or you tear something, it's easier to throw it away and just yes. to get new ones, right? So, so these are the small ways that the, this training comes in handy and these skills uh, are of such use to you and your family and to stay on budget as we've discussed. So let's take a moment to go to the word on the street and listen to what people had to say when we asked them, is homemaking truly a lost art? I think anybody who is a homemaker, but especially if, if you're a mom and you're taking care of kids and a family, like that is one of the most awesome things you can do. And one of the best things to do is be a good mom. Like you're raising the generation. It, it, like it should be something that's celebrated in a way. I don't think somebody who uh, comes in and says, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm a housewife. She shouldn't feel like she's degraded. I, I think she should be like at the top of the totem. I mean, I feel like in today's age, there's a lot of people, like not a lot of people go towards being homemakers. They really want to go outside and venture something like that usually men do. But I feel like it's something that you should be really proud of because it's a lot of work and you care for a lot of people and you actually do, um, you actually put all of your priorities before others. So I feel like you should be proud uh, if you're a homemaker. Indeed, you know, this is a role that Allah Almighty has bestowed upon women in His wisdom. So it's up to us to take this role and this responsibility, not only seriously, but also to wear it as a badge of honor, to take pride in it and ownership in it as well. Now, um, another, t another related question that comes to my mind as we were discussing, with the youth of today, we're talking about girls being unprepared, you know, when they enter into practical life. Do you feel that there are unrealistic expectations that girls have before marriage of what their practical life will be like. Let me ask you, Amatur Rafiq Tahira Saiba. Yes, we should also talk about some unrealistic expectations of our girls. Sometimes our uh, newly new brides have this expectation that after marriage, they will go out for the dinners with their husbands and also have the new beautiful clothes and jewelry to wear. Uh, definitely, they will enjoy all these things. But at the same time, they should also come forward to take the responsibilities, to take the ownership of the house. And this thing should be uh, taught by the mothers that they are well educated and trained to take the responsibilities in the new phase of their life. Absolutely. So they should integrate themselves as soon as possible in the new homes. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, no, absolutely. And that is the, uh, a sort of a missing link sometimes mm -hmm. where, like you said, these things are not taught properly yes. to our daughters. So it's not something that they don't do. They just don't know don't, that don't they know. should have done yes. it or they need to do it and how to do it. Yes, yeah, sometimes I think this aspect is not discussed at home before a girl is married. Um, there's always a talk about clothes, what to wear and all that stuff, but you don't talk about it. How are you going to manage your house when you go? Mm -hmm. How are you going to present yourself um, to your in-laws, to your husband? Mm -hmm. What are some habits that are very essential? Mm -hmm. That What sacrifices you might need in the beginning? Mm -hmm. So we need to discuss these factors, especially as mothers, to our daughters that these are a few realities that you have to look upon mm -hmm. in order to have a happy and healthy and harmonious home. Absolutely. Yes. So next we come to another topic, home decoration, upkeep. Um, and I realize this is a little bit of a hobby as well as a skill, but every woman should know some basics in order to keep their home, uh, you know, in, in, with a presentable appearance. What are your thoughts about this? Let me ask you, I'm Amtara Fittahra Saiba. <laughs> It's important to decorate our homes, but it does not mean that uh, it, uh, it is related to the cost because we can simply decorate our room, what size it is, no matter. We can decorate any size of room. We can put the beautiful uh, uh, flowers and plants, and even we can uh, put the flowers on the dining table or in the center table, and it looks, the, uh, looks beautiful. And it also, uh, it is very important that uh, if the house is clean and bright, the, because the brightness brings very beauty in the house. Mm -hmm. So if we, there is, and there are so many things nowadays that you can do it by yourself. So you can uh, buy all these crafts and you can do all these things and they are not costly. And at the same time, they look very beautiful mm -hmm. and economical. Absolutely, absolutely. Would you like to add something? So. Nowadays, as you mentioned earlier as well, that there are many apps. We can always learn a few of these um, um, skills through them. Uh, for example, hosting, a uh, uh, law skill, I would say. A lot of times we don't know how to properly host our guests and, how to, and we should teach this skill to our girls as well. And I think YouTube and all those things are Excellent easily- resources. Exactly, and very easily accessible. Easily accessible. Mm -hmm. And we can all just look upon them and then practice and learn all of these skills. And uh, we can teach our kids and we can do a practice, maybe just a family meal. And we are setting the table this way and teaching our kids at the same time. Yes. If a woman sews the curtains and make the cushions for her house, there is an attachment for all these things. If he makes some, some paintings or some decoration in the house, mm -hmm. it is not costly, mm -hmm. but it uh, gives an attachment mm -hmm. to that item and to the home, mm -hmm. and it looks beautiful. And it makes it individualized to yes. you, exactly. as opposed to buying something and putting it yeah. up, yeah. which of course has its own beauty, but not the same thing, yeah. cannot be compared to your own effort. Yeah. Yes. And your these idea. are also the skills that Absolutely. should be in a girl. Absolutely. So let's take a moment to listen more about the art of homemaking. A clean and well-organized home is an essential aspect of healthy living. It is important for the emotional and physical well-being of the entire family. Although maintaining a neat and clean house is a shared responsibility upon all family members, as the administrator of the household, it usually is the women's responsibility to ensure the home is neat and tidy at all times. The importance of physical cleanliness in our lives cannot be denied. Maintaining a clean environment is critical for the health of the family. Remember, dirt and disease go together. When a home has a neat and well-kept appearance, it not only has an inviting essence, but also contributes greatly to the emotional, spiritual, and mental well-being of its occupants. A clean and organized home will make the atmosphere happy, and more importantly, it will eliminate the stress that's caused by a chaotic environment, enabling the family to live healthy and happily. So, you know, although these tasks might seem 
uh, tedious, might seem exhausting, like you've said, you know, cleaning is, is just a constant uh, task that we have to keep up with. Um, performing them yourself, as, as both of you have said, does create an attachment to our home. It gives you a sense of pride in what you've accomplished. And it, of course, also brings uh, the blessings of Allah Almighty into your home as well. So, Another uh, related topic, which you've already spoken about a little bit, Nada Saiba, is the adequate of hosting guests and uh, serving them and treating them, of course, with respect. Guests bring a lot of blessings into our home, and we teach our children to pay the utmost uh, respect to our uh, guests as well. What are your thoughts about this? I would like to say again that if you, we should involve our children for the preparation of the guest arrival. For example, the jalsa is coming. You can involve your children, and boys and girls, to prepare the rooms for the guests, clean up the tables, and, and then put all the dishes in the dishwasher. And all these things, if we involve all of our children from the early age, it will be a fun, and also this will be the practice of their life. Mm -hmm. We have a great example in the life of Hazrat Sayyidah Nusrat Jahan Begum Sahiba, wife of the Promised Messiah alayhi salam, that she was a very skillful lady and she used to give tips and to educate women how to manage their homes. And when I was reading the book, Seerat Hazrat Majan, there were so many beautiful examples of her skillful life. Mm -hmm. She used uh, the old scarves and small, uh, uh, paper, uh, small pieces of the cloth to make the quilt for summer and decorate it with the gota as the trimming. She, the, her skills in this matter knew no bounds. So we can also learn all these skills from different uh, uh, incidents of our life history. Mm -hmm. And we can use these skills in our life also. Mm -hmm. And these are economical and also beautify our homes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Indeed, they do. Alhamdulillah, we have been able to cover a lot of very good topics today. Uh, Jazakallah for joining us here. Before we end the program, would you like to share any last thoughts? So um, a clean home is a happy home. Uh, a home cooked meal uh, made with love and sincere effort uh, nurtures a happy family. And a home that is well kept, neat and tastefully decorated and uh, invites not only yourself, but also the guest. And it gives them a warmth and a nice feeling into your home. So we should be proud of our role as a homemaker, as a mother who's staying at home, of what we are doing at home. And uh, teaching our kid that every task that we do, we are very proud of it. And we are happy with our responsibilities. Thank you. We are very lucky and fortunate that Islam has given same equal rights to men and women and to rewards. This reminds me a hadith of Hazrat Asma bin Tejazid Ansari radiallahu ta'ala anha. Once she came to the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam and said that I have come as a representative from the ladies conference. And, and, and she said, O Prophet of Allah, you have been sent from Allah Almighty to all men and women alike. Uh, but we, we, we women have become as prisoners in our homes and men have the uh, priority on us in different aspects of life. They go for the uh, uh, Friday prayers and congregation prayers and, of, and they uh, are also present at the time of funerals. And at the same time, we have the opportunity to go for the Hajj one after the other. And above all, they go for the, in the way, fighting in the way of Allah while we ladies stay at home and look after their children. Uh, so uh, when they are out for the fighting or for the Hajj, we take care of the children, we train them, we knit the clothes, and also we uh, sew their dresses, and also educate and train the children. Uh, and, uh, will, uh, will we ladies will be getting the same reward and sharing with them with all these uh, uh, things which they are doing. The Holy Prophet وسلم, turned his face completely to his companions and asked them, have you ever heard a question presented better than that by this woman? The companions replied, O Messenger of Allah, 
we could never imagine that a woman is representing her case in such an excellent way. Then the Holy Prophet وسلم, turned to her completely and said, O oh lady, understand carefully and tell this to the women who are behind you. A woman's management of her husband's household in an excellent manner equals her in reward with all you have mentioned. Alaika salatu, alaika salam. These are the blessings of Islam for all of us. So beautifully said, and it encompasses all of our thoughts, and it is truly a source of inspiration for women of today, indeed. And to also our viewers for joining us on this program. Until next time, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.